Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, and in Language Arts today, I'm gonna to be reading you a story, and then we're gonna be talking a little bit about rhyming. And then there is also um, a rhyming video and a video about letters and letter sounds. Okay, let's get started. The book is called Good Night Moon. Some of you may have already heard this book before. This is by Margaret Wise Brown. Now, if you see at the top, it has my daughter's name. <laughs> this was her book when she was little. It has her name in the front. Good Night Moon. This is the title page. Remember we talked last week? This is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine, okay? So we got our title page right here. Here's our title, Good Night Moon, by Margaret Wise Brown. She's the author. The illustrator, it says, Pictures by Clement Hurd. That individual drew the pictures, okay? I'm gonna come on this side so I can see the words. And that, well, I'm just gonna hold it and then I'll turn it around and show you. In the gray green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of, see, there's the gray green room. See the telephone and a picture of, there's two pictures. The cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens in a pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. See the toy house and the young mouse and three little kittens and a pair of mittens. I'm hearing rhyming in this story. Mittens and kittens and house and mouse. I'm hearing rhyming. Was there rhyming on the other page? See, cow jumping over the moon, three little bears sitting on chairs. No, nope, that was our first rhyming. Next page. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. That means quiet, doesn't it? Good night, room. See somebody in the bed. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. There's the moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light in the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. not staying sleepy. Wonder what he's gonna do, that little bunny. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Oh, that rhymes. Kittens, mittens. They hung their mittens up. We don't have mittens here usually that we wear, our gloves. But mittens, if you have to hang them up, it's because they were used outside and they got wet in the snow. Yeah. I've never lived in the snow, but that's from what I've read. Yeah, because you have to hang them up to let them dry so they'll be nice and dry for the next day. Good night clocks and good night socks. Oh, I hear more rhyming. Clocks and socks. There's 
one clock and there's another clock on the fireplace so that's clocks and socks see the socks are being hung up too good night little house good night mouse that rhymes too Good night, brush. It's on his little table by his bed. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. I think mush is like oatmeal. So he must have had some oatmeal before bed. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. and girls who do you say good night to every night I say good night to my son Ryan I say good night to my daughter Mackenzie I say good night to my brother he lives with us and I say good night to my husband I say good night to my dogs I do my dog Maybelle she sleeps in the bed with me I say good night, May May. Yeah, and she usually gives me a kiss. Um, I say good night to my other dogs. Say good night, Taxi. I say good night, Emma. Good night, Flashy. Yeah. And my other son, he lives away at college, so I don't get to say good night to him. Yeah. But those are the people I say good night to. Now, we heard rhyming in here. Rhyming are when two words sound the same at the end. Like we talked about, let's see. If we go back through our story, we had kittens and mittens, house, toy house, and mouse. Can you say that? House, mouse, that rhymes. Kittens, can you say that? Mittens, that rhymes. Say mush and hush. Hush, mush, those rhyme. They have a sound at the end that sound the same. Ola mush and hush. Let's see. Uh, kittens, mittens. Clocks, socks, that rhymes. House, mouse. Lots of good rhyming words in this book. Let's see, I think that's it. And that's it, okay. So be sure and click on the video for um, you to, Think about and listen to rhyming some more, and then also um, letter sounds, because we're just starting to talk about letters and their sounds. So I want you to be sure and watch that, and there's also a link for you to listen to the story again, okay? Y'all have a great day. Bye!